thank the students, thank everybody for doing everything they've done. We've, we've actually done really well. We've gotten to this point without any major, major things going on. Uh, well, we have actually lots, but we've lost people in the district. We, I think, believe there's at least one or two parents that have died attributed to COVID-19. So it is, it is a big deal. And we're, we're doing, like I said, trying to make these decisions because we understand what you're saying. A lot of us feel the same or even stronger that we shouldn't uh, be doing the mask mandates. So that's why we're having a conversation. A quick question. Sure. If we repeal the mandate portion for pre-K, would we give parents a little lead time? We've kind of done that in the past where so that a parent can tell their child starting such and such a date, you won't have to wear your mask. Kind yeah. of yeah. so they aren't surprised by it or I, I would say make it effective. My son's refusing to go to school until this mask issue he's calling it is resolved. So if we can make it effective immediately, if that's part of the vote, that would be ideal because I've had to keep my four-year-old home with me, which has been very inconvenient when I wasn't expecting it. So I, I would like to see it like maybe like a Monday thing, so it gives a little time for a parent so that they don't say, I didn't know my kid was going to go into a classroom where masks weren't required. And that, after this amount of time, well, there are already, right? after the amount of time that we've already done, if we were, and I don't know if we will, to opt to say, let's get through the week and then start fresh on Monday, it does give everyone a little time and it does give, but again, that's just my, and it really doesn't matter to me whether we opt to I do it. I would like to give parents at least a, a notice out. I think the faculty can also, I don't see it being out of line with the fact that we can announce to the classroom that it's not effective or even. Uh, it can be communicated right to the kids the minute they walk into the class. Yes. Well, we also have to notify faculty as well. We're not going to have parents to do that. It's like you said, have you don't want to overstep the parent. The parent is, you know, we never intend to overstep parents. Excuse me if I would be allowed to finish. Go ahead. All right. So the if we give parents the thing so they can talk to their children, because there are people who are extremely concerned about COVID and they've projected that to their children, as well as those that aren't as concerned. Well if that's the there case. are both sides and we try to balance at least I try to balance between the two. Well, those people are still going to wear masks anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, one, one at a time, please. I'm sorry. We do have. Uh, I, I would ask for at least a, a couple days at the very least to get notices out to faculty, families, etc. Effective immediately. Yeah, absolutely. That's, yeah. The, that, that's completely out of pocket. Well, I think the faculty do deserve the respect and courtesy of okay, well, qualification. Okay, well, here's the thing. You have kids on one side that aren't wearing masks, and yep. then you have kids on the other side that are poor that are wearing masks. They're, it's oh, not yeah, fair. The it's, not, not, it's not fair. It's not just. It's, it's not legal. There, there's not a couple day leeway on something that's illegal. Yeah. If we're talking about it here, it's the parents get the right to do something or they don't.
They're, so these parents are already sending their children with children that aren't have the option to take their masks off. So I, I'm just not understanding where there would need to be a couple day leeway for warning, but they're already sending their children to school where masks are mandated. As with most things, I think most people appreciate not just having something thrown at them. And I know you feel very strongly that there shouldn't be here. There are also people who feel strongly that the mask mandate should be in effect. But, but we're, not, we're not saying their children have to take off their masks. Pardon me? We're not saying that no, they're No, no, we, we are not. It's, they it's, can wear fact, their masks. We strongly recommend that everyone wear sure. their masks. But it will be out. Potentially. And it is in the, in the upper grade. Okay, all right. I think uh, we'll move. We're going to move on to the voting meeting. I'll pass it. We'll do it right now. It'll be number 11. Is there another one? No. make it 11. Treasurer's report, uh, Jennifer from the general account. 
I move to accept the treasurer's report for the general, food service, and student activities. I'll second. That motion is made by Mr. Wolski and seconded by Mr. Wood. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed by saying no? Are there any abstentions? All right. That motion carries. Number seven, the approval of bills. I move for the approval of bills for the general and food service. I'll second. That motion is also made by Mr. Wolski and seconded by Mr. Wood. Any comment, any uh, input on that one? All right, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anyone opposed by saying no? Are there any abstentions? Motion carries. Number eight, is only on the accounting of taxes. Nothing there, so we'll move forward. Number nine, student recognition. Of the principal's list recognition and then follows follow that by staff recognition. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. First, we'd like to start off by recognizing individuals on the principal's list uh, for the second marking period. Again, the principal's list represents the top two uh, highest scoring averages from grades 9 through 12 uh, for the second marking period. We'll start with the ninth grade class, and uh, please come up and get your certificate when your name is called David Elias III. And also ninth grade, Leah Parker. <laughs> For tenth grade, Jacob Schott. <laughs> 